Joining me now for her reaction is Canadian singer-songwriter Julie Black. Julie, good morning. Thanks for being morning. with us. Thank you for having me. What are you thinking right now about Aretha Franklin? Oh, it's what I'm feeling. Um, Aretha, she set such a standard for all of us soul singers, for us gospel singers. For me, who started in gospel, many don't know that, and went into you know, the world, into secular music, but really... Aretha taught me that we could create a bridge big enough for everyone to cross, you know, her voice, the timber in her voice, her singing songs written by others, whether it was Burt Bacharach or Carole King, she still managed to have such conviction. And uh, for me, what's really, what really, I feel emotion because um, she passed away of the same cancer that my mom passed away from only nine months ago. Mm. And recognizing that, um, that this pancreas, you know, it's the organ of joy and, um, I'm on a, on a crusade right now to bring joy to the world. And I pray uh, that in Aretha's transitioning, that we all will go back to recognizing that music is therapy. It's a language that we all speak, no matter what race, gender, sexual orientation, religion. Aretha taught us that. And, you know, the world is singing her songs right now. And I continue, I pray that we continue to sing them. And we te teach them to the next generation. Uh, what true musicianship and artistry looks like. And she sang right up until her final months. It, it's incredible. It's not as though she retired. She was still so involved in the industry, still making music, Julie. Yes. Yes, because there is no, and I, I feel joy when I say this, there's no retirement in your purpose. <laughs> there's no retirement in your passion, and there's no retirement in your calling. And that is what Aretha Franklin represented right up. She's singing in the pearly gates right now, right up in glory. She was serenading all the way today. She told the Associated Press back in 2008 that music was her thing and she was in it for the long run. So I hear what you're saying. I want yes. to talk to you, Julie, about her signature song, Respect. I remember being in high school when you first heard those notes, all the girls would go up to the dance floor and we'd all start dancing. We didn't yes. really have an idea of what it meant. Certainly as you get older, it takes on more meaning. Why do you think this is the song that for so many people defines who Aretha Franklin is? Well, it was bold and courageous. She sang that song at a time where women weren't necessarily shouting on the mountaintops to respect me. We kind of, at the time, needed to know our place. But no, R-E-S-P-C-T. She belted that thing out. And I'm so excited that to this day, especially with the Me Too movement and Time's Up, this is, this is, this is the song that we all need to sing. We need to continue to sing, for sure. How do you think she should best be remembered? We understand her funeral will be held in the coming days. Uh, as you mentioned, she was more than a singer. She had a huge family and she is survived by children and grandchildren. What, what sort of celebration do you think it will be to, to say goodbye to the Queen of Soul? Well, I think exactly, you said the exact word. It needs to be a celebration of who she was and how she impacted us the entire world individually. That's the beauty of music. The music will continue to live on. And thank God we're in a, we're in a digital space where we've become a neighborhood. So I, I, my thing is celebrate, celebrate. No need to break down and, and, and cry too often. Celebrate, let your tears be tears of joy and be grateful that she left a lasting legacy. You're gonna be listening to some Aretha today, Julie? Oh, well, interestingly enough, Two months ago, I was asked to do a tribute to Carole King oh. in November, and the song they chose for me to sing is Natural Woman. Yeah. So this is, it's going to be quite the celebration in November. I'm excited. Julie, I'm so glad you're able to join us today. Julie, Thank you for Black, having me. You're so welcome. She's a Canadian singer-songwriter. All the best to you, Julie. Thank you. All right, we're getting reaction uh, from the music industry to the loss of Aretha Franklin. Motown legend Diana Ross tweeting, I am sitting in prayer for the wonderful golden spirit Aretha Franklin. Grammy and Oscar winner John Legend said, salute to the queen, the greatest vocalist I've ever known. A legend in her own right, 
Barbra Streisand tweeting out, this photo was taken in 2012 when Aretha and I performed at a tribute celebration for our friend Marvin Hamlish. It's difficult to conceive of a world without her. Not only was she a uniquely brilliant singer, but her commitment to civil rights made an indelible impact on the world. Entertainer Bette Midler had this to say on Twitter, the greatest voice in American popular music has been stilled. Our beloved Aretha Franklin has gone for me. She was a musical lighthouse, guiding and inspiring with every note. I loved her so, and I love her still. Goodbye, Queen of Soul. Canadian country music queen Shania Twain saying, an unbelievable woman and voice. It was an honor to meet and perform with the Queen of Soul. Rest in peace, Aretha Franklin.